Let's get this started. Let's get this started. <laughs> la, let's get this started. Let's get this started here. Fa, la, 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 la. Are we not seeing <laughs> Christmas music in the... <laughs> oh, come on. It's November. That's kind yeah, of the month where, like, Christmas. people get all psyched up about the, um... Uh, apparently the call is lagging like shit, but you know what? I'm just gonna continue anyway. Okay. This is quite an epic way to start the third one. <laughs> uh, Derek, to answer your question about uh, power-ups, not only do I plan to get the Z Saber, but also the gold armor. I practiced this game many times to make sure I can get that. Like, I'm, I'm kind of boosting my ego here, and I could risk, you know, counting my chickens before they hatch. <laughs> but I'm, I'm at least going to try. Huh. Alright, this opening is way too fucking long. Here we go. This is Mega Man X3, the uh, third of this uh, trilogy. And better way to start off with is... <sighs> Open a cold one. Mm-hmm. Oh, you Bunny cherry flavor. Oh, oh yes, Blade Christo. X7 is a problem. At least it tried to do something different when it needed to be compared to X6. <laughs> so yeah, this is Mega Man X3. And the interesting history behind this one is that despite how hard the game was, um, my brother would play this game a lot. Not as often as X1, but he used to enjoy this game as... What, what, what the hell? Uh, anyways. What, so That was me. Oh. <laughs> that was... Don't mind the commotion in the background. something else in the back? Yeah, that's... yeah, yeah, don't mind, yeah, don't mind the commotion. That's Lux and a roommate of hers or a friend of hers is playing uh, Mario Kart. Yeah. <laughs> Mario Kart. Yeah. Mamma yeah, mia! Going... I'm playing the Mega Man X. <laughs> We're playing Mario Kart. Sorry, we'll we'll try to interact as much. Oh my god! Oh my god! And once again, the call is lagging like shit. <laughs> I blame the school. I blame my education. I blame. I play, I play the work. Oh, I like the fact that the old on here Twitch donate. <laughs> uh, uh. Nick, I Give think me money, please. Nick, I think the closest that I've ever had a character design in my uh, my OC like something involved with Mega Man was from Solar, and it was a while ago. It was us as a. Uh, I don't know if it was us as Never. X or oh. not. So one of the cool things about this game, and it's not really saying much, is that you get to play as Zero temporarily. And you do have the option when you're taking on um, the main campaign, where um, when you pause and you select, you press select. And it switches over to the option of playing as uh, Zero. But you can only play him for a minimal amount of time. And what's worse is that if you die playing as Zero, that's it. Actually, okay. actually, Derek, I kind of consider, like, I would be X and Solar would be Zero. I think that sounds a lot more fitting. If you in game, you die in real life. That's it. it yeah, it's kind of like that with Zero. Like, he doesn't die officially. He just says, I can't help you, X. You're our only hope. You know, that kind of shit. Also, also, Nick... The only time you, uh, oh. the only time zero, uh, zero would ever take on a mini boss is, um, I try explaining that while I'm being interrupted. Um, it's when you take on a mini boss that's around the, uh, what is it? Yeah. Uh, it's one of the mini bosses in the Sigma stages. No, it's the Mario Maker. Oh, that oh, would no. suck. So bad. Golden, we got a question for you. Okay, what's your question? Okay, so you are trapped in a fully in, in, immersive 
VR version of the last game you played. How will you're cutting out? Think of the last game you played. That's where you're stuck in. We and Lux, you cut out again. Okay, Golden, last game you played. Yeah, and Logic what? is cutting out. You are trapped in a VR version of the last game you played. How will you? How would I what? Golden just went quiet. You guys can't hear me? Yeah. Well, we can now. Yeah, now we can. Yeah, Golden? Yes? This step by step as best as I can because the chat. Oh, God. Discord's call is right. lagging like shit. Did you say Lego? I'm going to type it in the Twitch. Okay. Uh, well, what's even worse is that Discord itself is like terribly lagging. Except there's food in Minecraft. I mean, you're terribly lagging anyway, so. Jesus Christ. Let's see, they're asking what would happen if you were stuck in the last game you played. What if it's. With all of the love. With all of the what? All of the love. With all of the love. Yeah. Okay, you're trapped in a fully immersive VR version of the last game you played. Would you survive? Um, well, the game I'm playing right now is Mega Man X. Um, I guess the most relatable thing I can answer in that regard would have to be when facing Sigma. Because he could be a real bitch to fight in that one. Hmm. I mean, the yeah. last game I played is Destiny 2, and I'm going to be honest, at this point, the game is just soul-destroying, and I have no real motivation for it. We'd have to survive a Super yeah. Mario Maker. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You you guys better hope to God you're not on one of those raw stages. Oh, fuck <laughs> <man>. <laughs> I mean, it'll be a quick death. <laughs> no, it'll, it'll be... It'll be like... It'll be one of those, like... Those sections that you think is easy, and then there's a shit ton of hidden blocks that have those laughing voices. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, uh, It'll be a mentally tortured death because we'll have to listen to all that laughing all day. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Or you have to go to the exactly. process of abandoning your Yoshi multiple times. Oh my god. Yeah, no. Yeah, Ross is horrible. <laughs> He's a horrible yeah. being to create those kind of levels. I'd never, I'd never be able to play. Super Mario Maker because there are people like Ross who think that guy's funny. <laughs> it's funny yeah. in his sense of Schadenfreude. That's that's the ultimate like slap in the face that you get. Like he's not violent in anything. He has the right to create those kind of levels. Is it's Schadenfreude he... just a, is Schadenfreude just a polite it's just way? Just that of everybody saying. hates him for it. I'm just glad the last game we didn't play was like Battlefield or Call of Duty because I know I would die now. <laughs> <laughs> you said duty. <laughs> So oh, you know, like, Russ oh, stopped making a um... game. All of a sudden, I'm on like Omaha Beach D Day. I'm like, well, this will be fun. Okay, okay. So <laughs> Nick, uh, apparently, uh, Nick says that uh, Ross stopped making the stages. <laughs> uh, I wonder why. <laughs> they probably like stripped him away from the Wii U, gaining access to the game. Yeah, no like, more. Oh, that's a... Nintendo banned him. <laughs> I okay. Nintendo banning it that it's actually pretty harsh because it's not like creating any violations or anything. No, it, maybe people are sending him death threats, like the guy who created Flappy Bird. Wait, what? Yeah, the guy who created Flappy Bird. He took the game off the app store because he was getting death threats from people who weren't being good at the game. Really? He got death threats. Yep. He Over a fucking game. game. That's that's fucking stupid. No, I heard that the game well, was. He was getting calls and emails threatening his life, so he took down the game so that way people wouldn't have any more issues. And you can literally sell your phone if you have the original Flappy Boy on it. It can go for at least like twice the price. Jesus Christ! I actually heard that he stopped making Flappy Bird or he um, stopped selling it because he received notifications from Nintendo some for some kind of plagiarizing reason. 
Yeah, I also heard that too, so I mean... Well, originally Flappy Bird wasn't supposed to be this big thing. The dude just made it just to fucking make a video game, just to make a mobile game, but it, it blew up, so like... I just yeah. remember in school, all day, every day, for like two weeks, all you could hear is the ding, 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 all throughout the hallways. <laughs> <laughs> The teachers went. literally lost their minds. They're like, if we hear that damn Flappy Bird game one more time, we're taking away your phones. <laughs> well, technically, oh, you're not supposed to bring your phone at school. So. I know, and then literally, like, in one of my classes, the teacher says, if you guys work real hard for the last five minutes of class, I'll, instead of doing that assignment, I'll let you guys play Flappy Bird. And don't even get me started with Clash of Clans. That was worse. <laughs> we had... We had a high. We we we. It's been two years since Jalen and I have been out of high school, and since then we have all of the memories of the young people and how high school actually went. And now high school went for us was there's just a lot of flappy birds. Oh, Birch, get that image out of your head! Oh my God, he's talking about that freaking mini boss. Because he has a giant drill, and it like it can penetrate you if you're not careful. Get your head out of the gutter, you, you sick like fuck. <laughs> that, okay, that, you know what? That sounds like something Solar would think of. There were literally groups of students who went up to our principal when our Wi-Fi no longer supported Clash of Clans. Like, there were literally groups of students went to his office and said, Can you change the Wi-Fi? We can't play Clash of Clans. <laughs> You know, excuse me, Mr. Principal. Can you uh, get Chris to Clash of Clans? Uh, well, I I don't know what Clash of Clans is, but I think I can name uh, another mobile game that is kind of notorious. Candy Crush. What? Oh boy. Oh, Candy Crush. Candy Crush is in pay to win. Bejeweled ripoff. Like, come on, Bejeweled is the classic match. Three oh yeah, no, Je Bejeweled is the shit. I love playing yeah. Bejeweled. Bejeweled's amazing. Mm -hmm. Remember Bejeweled? If, yeah. if, I, if I meet someone that plays the jeweled like seriously, I know that they're a good person. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just glad Clash Royale didn't get big because I cannot handle another wave of whoever, whoever that company makes those games. I'm like, you guys just need to stop. You guys need to chill the fuck. Um, it's on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Adventure Mode and the Spirit System. Uh, I, I, gonna... I honestly don't I just know. DS is on the bus. Uh, that was fun. I know. I honestly don't know much about Smash Brothers Ultimate. Um, my involvement with modern games is still minimal. Um, there's still potential that I might have a Switch one day. Um, it's not on my. Same. It's it's not on my to do list right now. There's like other shit that I have to take care of. For instance, I have a donation. Like I set it up recently to help uh, save up money for BronyCon flight tickets. Um, it's nothing too big. Um, if you want to help out, that's cool. Um, at a minimum of ten dollars, you get to put in a voice box. Or a voice line of some kind, and you can be creative with them. Just you know, try to keep it to a minimum. You know, no racial jokes or any of that shit. I I don't allow those. Just be a decent fucking human being. Yeah. yeah. You can have Golden Fox say, "Hey, let's get jiggy with it." <laughs> my opinion. Be on, my opinion on the Smash Ultimate Adventure Mode and Spirit System. Well, I I mean, it looks interesting. Adventure Mode looks like. Well, like if you're talking about the story mode, like I'm, I'm super hyped for the story mode. The spirit system is gonna be, you know, one of those hit or miss things. So hmm. the game hasn't officially come out either. I mean, they have pretty much stuff out there, yeah. but that's because they have a game code. They haven't actually been playing it, from my understanding. Hmm. It's a download code for when the thing came out because their pre-order for their Switch came with the game, but the game isn't out yet. Yeah. Ow! God damn it. Ugh. These guys are annoying. I gotta wait on that. Alright. Let's get up there and blast him apart. With Galoogie at hole coming on the screen. Wait for it. We're trying to save up to go for Bro to go to Bro Damn they are, they'll get how long it's Yeah, it's, it's gonna be the last. yeah, it's gonna be the last BronyCon and it's gonna be extended to four days. Jesus, yeah. Gotta I've make that. No! Damn it! 
It's almost every fucking time I try to go over the spike pit, get in the heart, and I continue to fall to my pit. Death. <laughs> wow, I said pit. I I poorly worded you that. Do you still keep the heart? Feels bad. Yeah, you still get to keep the heart. It's just you lose a life if you're not careful. Oh, I want to go home or? Oh, I don't see what else on this way. Okay. No, don't even launch your missile, you asshole. Oh. Uh, oh, me. So, so I was so when I was at GameStop, I was looking at some of the DS games, yeah. and I know what some of like because you know how like some of the old DS games, there was a lot of fake cartridges of them. Yeah. And there was a fake copy of Heart Gold next to a a real copy of Heart Gold, and I called them out on it. I went to the counter. I said, "You guys know you're selling a fake copy of a game next to a real copy, right?" And he. I could tell him the look on his face, he's like, oh shoot, he knows, or something like that. And Busted! He at me and he goes, well, actually, no, oh, he, he looked at me and he's like, well, actually, um, when the games came out, they were a lot darker there than the ones now. I'm like, one, they stopped making them because the game came out in like 2009, and two, the Nintendo official uh, sticker is missing. <laughs> 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 No, it's it's so easy to tell. He actually says, ten, yeah. "Drop the mic and leave." <laughs> yeah, it actually says ten Nindo. Ah, <laughs> no, but I like I, I've heard many many stories about like I, I've stumbled upon a couple of uh, fake cartridges before. Like when I was collecting Super Nintendo games, um, I discovered that I had a fake copy of Chrono Trigger, which. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, it wasn't that expensive because online they sell that game for like almost a hundred bucks. I found one that was like sixty nine, and apparently that was fake. Just, like work exactly the same like the regular ones. It's just like for like you just can't do like online stuff. Like for the Pokemon ones, the only difference is you can't like transfer them or like trade with like others. Otherwise, they work like exactly the same. Hmm. Uh, another cartridge I ran into that turned out to be fake was uh, Metroid Fusion for the Game Boy Advance. And I noticed a yeah. weird a, a weird thing happened is that whenever I went to go save, the screen lagged for like a good three to five seconds. I'm just like, what the hell? And then I saw the uh, the yeah. circuit board. And then the one major giveaway whenever you take apart the cartridge is that there's a big black goop on there. Oh, uh, yeah. The guy, no, but the guy literally behind that counter is like, oh, don't worry. He's like, DS games are extremely hard to copy. They'd have to do this and this, so you're fine. You'd rarely ever see a hacked DS game. Oh, they're for Game Boy Advance games? Yeah, you see those a lot. It's As still fucking there, no, the fucking less, dude. Don't try to hide your shit. Yeah. No, I've heard that some people, like some game stores who sell, like, retro games, they would actually allow you to pull out, like... Like, so you would have to have one of those, uh, those tri-wing screwdrivers, and if they would allow, like, they would, some company, um, stores would allow you, like, hey, if you want to take this apart, you'll see if it's real, so that way they make sure they get their per, um, you know, their purchase and their money worth, compared to, you know, spotting the obvious traits of what is a fake cartridge. Yeah. But, I mean, it was blatantly fake, too, like, it was so much darker than the other one. And I just feel so bad for anyone who doesn't know. And because they were, these were like fifty dollar games, these were like ten. These were like fifty. It was like fifty or fifty three bucks. And I'm like, you guys can't get away with this. But there's nothing I can do because you know they're either clueless or they don't want to admit to one of their customers. Oh shoot, we screwed up because you know I'm so popular. I'm gonna tell like thousands of people, and they're gonna you know whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. No. Um. Yeah. Like, what's even worse is that some cartridges are not only fake, or they're, like, false made, but they could also be, like, they would switch the circuits uh, over and it would be something else. Like, there wasn't, uh, like, a set example. Like, it, this didn't really happen. Oh, I've gotten mad at one point. But just, just bear... Yeah, where you put in a game and, and then it comes out, like, someone bought, like, a copy of, like, Pokemon Heart Gold version, put it in, and it came up at SpongeBob Atlantis Square Pants. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like, I, like, uh, uh, just finishing my sentence... So... Finishing my sentence, there was one video that was a set example of some kind of a uh, popular RPG title, and he puts it in, and it's Bebe's Kids. I'm just like, oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, of course. <laughs> yeah, well, um, I do have a story to go over real quick. Oh, go ahead, Deckard. Let's hear it. Uh, I had a retro gaming store that was near me. They had a good record for some of the things that they'd come out with that were actually real games. But there was one that I was disappointed in getting, and it was one of the Mega Man X games. Oh, shit. It was fake. Oh, <laughs> go on. Um, this game 
does not play like a normal Mega Man X game. I plugged it in, and when you s finish the character select for whatever one you're going to fight, you zip across the screen all over the place. The sprites Whee! do not hold. It's like moon. <laughs> Just go. <laughs> yeah, well, doesn't GameStop, like, have to test these games before they start them? Like, It, it wasn't a GameStop. It was a, a privately owned... Uh, but retro even gaming like any game store don't you have to like test them or play at least play like five or ten minutes of the game to know like it's real and if you like stupid enough not to know what it looks like with your face? well that's the thing most people will turn it on and the game turned on went to the title screen and they and would let you fun. do the select to go from one place to the next if they thought that was good enough just to see the title screen they would say it works yeah oh my god mm. I just love it how that guy literally says they're like almost impossible to copy when he's literally like 10 feet from a fake copy. And then the worst of fun part is they put it next to a real copy. So it's like, and I said, so why does it look different? I mean, you could tell he had to think for a second his answer. He couldn't tell me right away. You gotta like think, you gotta like look up. I'm like, no, you're done. You're done. You're done, boy. You <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> yeah. You fucked up. You played yourself. I don't know. Done, so I guess done goof. gaming place is gonna be Walmart. <laughs> Walmart would be like the most prominent place. Or Best like, Buy, basic. but you know. Or Best. Well, not so they much sell, Best Buy. They sell a lot of Nintendo stuff at Best they, Buy. Yeah, they sell, but they sell a lot of like computers. Well, yeah, but they too. have like a little section in the store that's like Xbox and Minecraft. Yeah, well, and Best Buy is pretty much universal towards any electronics, games, computers, you name it. Yeah. yeah. Also, Luigi, uh, man, to answer your question, uh, Luxmas, Deckard Spade, and a roommate of Luxmas is in the call. And I think Logic is in there? Hello. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Yeah. And my evil Hi, we're here. <laughs> I don't forget me, the in my pony. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, that's also Master Code. Got to the chopper. Gee, it's me. The dude is a fucking jokester. Me, Melody. Go on, kill me. Come on, do it now! No, it is. Like, is it bad that when I walked into GameStop today, I didn't even take 10 feet into the store, and this guy from behind that counter, like, almost like speed walks up to me and looks at me and goes, You heard about it? Let's go pick you to feet. I'm like, No. He's like, Oh, never mind. You're not, you're not worth my time. Though. He's just there. He's just like, He was waiting for you to walk in, and he, like, you can see like his head peer up from behind your shoulder. Or he's got like, that grin on his face. He's, yeah. He's like, I got a bad Pokemon. <laughs> see, I'm not sure if I want to pick up that game. Well, he's like, do you want? He's like, are you here to buy? Let's go Pikachu. Or I'm like, no. He's like, oh, okay. Well, if you're interested, we have extra copies. <laughs> we need to sell it now. Okay. Um, actually, on the subject of that, which team would you guys be on? Eevee. 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 Everybody's yeah, gonna go for Eevee. Eevee. That's really no surprise. Eevee. It's really? Fluffy because he's fluffy and adorable. That's why. Yeah. Eevee is actually like a better mascot in Japan compared to the Pikachu. US. Yeah. You know what? That actually this seems to make a lot more sense. It's like Eevee is infinitely more. Well, she has more substance than Pikachu does. No offense. No, well, no, not taken. Right when, uh, Let's go, Eevee got popular. All those Pikachu memes came out. <laughs> Pikachu well, that's so... I mean, it, it's also Oh, Nick, seriously? Yeah, Look at what Nick Zilla Did typed you... in. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 what, what do you say? He said, I go for Pikachu because Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> we get it. He's Detective yeah, Pikachu. Yeah, of course. That's the okay. only reason yeah, why you would ever choose Pikachu over Eevee is Ryan Reynolds. Okay, we need to find a talented actress for Eevee. Um, um how about Nah, no, 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 no. Christopher Walken's good chew. He got a chew. No, 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 no. Uh, for like for Eevee, I don't know. Like, who who would you guys pick for the voice of Eevee? I would pick. Mariah Carey. Honestly, Mariah Carey. What? Yeah, Sylvester Stallone is Eevee? It's like, yo, I'm gonna beat your ass. Give me one of those three stones. I'm, oh, yo. Morgan Freeman is Eevee. Samuel L. Jackson as Eevee. 
<laughs> ah, there's a motherfucking Pikachu. I'm a motherfucking Where's my Pokeball? Where's my Pokeball? Where is, where <laughs> is <laughs> my Pokeball? Oh, okay, guys. <laughs> Morgan Freeman.